Hi, this is Dean Virag from Nextility, and today I'm here to share another tip to bring you transformational results in your business. The team of experts here at Nextility specializes in moving customers to the Office 365 platform. Email is one of the very first and critical workloads that organizations move to Office 365. For Lotus Notes customers, moving to the exchange-based email component is a relatively straightforward process. The question becomes, what do we do with all of our Lotus Notes databases? Today, we're joined by Nintex technical evangelist and my friend, Brad Orlick, who's gonna help shed some light on that question. Welcome, Brad. Thank you very much for having me, Dean. I appreciate it. Absolutely. So what's motivating companies to move off of Lotus Notes? Uh, you know, I would say the, the main drivers of migrations away from Lotus Notes are around deprecation of features inside of the Lotus platform, um, as well as just high legacy maintenance costs. So I'd say those are the primary drivers, but we're also seeing, you know, just coming from the business itself is this desire to add more agility to the solutions that they provide back to the business. Excellent. So what are some of the obstacles that organizations face when they want to migrate from Lotus Notes? Yeah, excellent question. I would say there's lots of obstacles. I'd say the, the first and the, probably the biggest is determining where to start. Uh, because you know a lot of organizations already have a lot invested inside of the notes infrastructure so they've probably already built lots of databases and uh, it's just you know finding the right spot to uh, to start whittling away at that uh, but then on top of it the lack of resources mm. um, you know I mean you you know coming in from uh, doing a fair amount of consulting work that uh, a lot of organizations are trying to do more with less and sometimes when it comes to legacy systems there just isn't the right amount of resources to tackle that type of project excellent so why have Lotus Notes database migrations lagged behind the Lotus Notes email migrations? Uh, good question. I would say the, the primary reason why we've seen so much success with organizations migrating their, their email up into, say, the cloud primarily, too, uh, with Exchange Online, um, I, just because it was commoditized and it's easy. There's an analogous with uh, Domino and with, uh, with Exchange for a mailbox. So, you know, there's not things like code behind. There's not a form that needs to be rebuilt. There's not uh, um, a workflow, you know. So these, these types of things typically need a little bit more time and energy to map out and rebuild on the other side versus just exporting a mailbox. Got you. So how should I approach a Lotus Notes migration project? Uh, <laughs> that's another great question. I, I would say, you know, when you when you need to endeavor upon this type of, uh, of project, um, you know, the first thing you got to do is really saying no to people in the business sometimes. So you really have to decide when to draw that line in the sand and say, we're not going to build any new content in this legacy system. So, you know, a lot of people have to, you know, essentially look at it and go, you know what, no more new notes databases. So I'd say that's the first step. Um, after that, it's it's really getting executive buy-in or at least management's buy-in to decide that migrating off of this legacy platform is essential to the business. And then you really get into things like establishing a plan, um, you know, all your, you can put on your project management hat and have your five phase project mm -hmm. and, and uh, you know, then tackle the low hanging fruit or at least decide what exactly is the low-hanging fruit inside of that migration effort. Um, and then after that, assessing tools and uh, building out budgets. Excellent. So it brings up a good question. What tools are there available to help migrate from, migrate from Lotus Notes? Well, I'm glad you asked, Dean. <laughs> no, I'm with Nintex. So, I mean, obviously, we have a set of tools that would make that uh, less of a hardship to endeavor upon. So um, the first thing, actually, would be to address the content space. So when you have... Typically, when you have Notice, Lotus Notes databases, you have a fair amount of content that has to get over into SharePoint first. So we actually had worked with Dell in the past, and inside of the Dell SharePoint migration tool, uh, there's a native capability of, of actually building out an in-text form, for example. So, you know, not that we can replicate in a, um, in a migration the logic behind a Notes database, but we can at least get that content over and give us a, a little bit of a head start on the effort of rebuilding some of those assets. So I would say, again, you know, migration first, bringing the content over. Um, and then after that, it's really focusing on the UI and the logic or the business logic that's behind those uh, various Lotus Notes apps. And uh, I think that Nintex really brings the, you know, kind of brings that entire conversation full circle because the citizen developer concept that IBM introduced with Lotus Notes, I think that we really embrace that and we give our users a tool set that allows them to really build things without having to be a developer 
or you know, engage a development resource to build solutions for them on behalf of the business. Excellent, excellent. Lots of great information, Brad. Thank you so much for joining us today and sharing the information. Thank you for having me, Dean. Absolutely. So to learn more about this topic, at the end of this video, we're gonna have some notes. Feel free to check it out or shoot us an email at info at .com. Until next time, I'm Dean Virag, and this was today's tip to help you bring transformational results to your business. Thanks for watching.